I'm going to try and do, you know, every now and then, one little nugget from the campaign trail, uh, just so we can pretend like, you know, we're covering it. Uh, but this was too good. I'm not even exactly sure where we are at this point. I think Newt Gingrich is the leader in most of the polls now over Romney. He's uh, opened up a wide margin in Iowa. Um, he's also starring in The Music Man, uh, I think, uh, later this month on Broadway. No, wait, I'm sorry. They're writing an adaptation of The Music Man based on his life. But this coming from uh, Politico, after Gingrich met with um, Donald Trump and said, I'm, I'll be part of his debate, of course. Ron Paul, his campaign uh, came out with this, and I just thought it was so, so well done that we need to read it. Because I guess Gingrich said, I feel bad that my friend Ron Paul doesn't agree with me that we should be open to uh, any forum to reach the American public. <coughs> it's all part of uh, Newt Gingrich's new ideas thing. His whole thing is that I've got a bunch of new ideas. And it seems irrelevant that 98% of them are completely shitty ideas. But because I thought of them or have embraced them, they're just as valid as a good idea. So uh, Ron Paul, uh, in response to Gingrich saying, it's too bad Ron Paul won't uh, agree to the debate that um, Donald Trump will be overseeing. I wonder if he'll have, like, his assistants, you know, also ask questions. Like, his, doesn't he do that, like, on, uh, on the, uh, the Apprentice? Have his, like, daughter and his, like, right-hand man forever sit by his side and ask questions, too? I don't know how it works. Um, so uh, the Ron Paul campaign wrote back, we agree, of course, with spe uh, former Speaker Gingrich. This is a country of people of enormous talent, those who deliver thousands of babies like Dr. Paul and those who spend their time focusing on promoting themselves for profit. We even have those who lobby but don't call it such because, as they say, they can make $60,000 per speech. This is in reference to um, Gingrich arguing, it would be ridiculous for me to lobby. Why would I need to lobby when I can make a speech for $60,000? <laughs> you know, if I was to unpack that, uh, there would be a good case for um, raising taxes on people who make that kind of money. Because he's obviously saying that I'm perfectly fine with just $60,000 for, uh, I got to do, do a dozen speeches. I'm perfectly fine with that. Well, obviously, we need to take more money from him because uh, it's a reverse uh, going go galt. He's going galt just because he's already self-satisfied. He's got too much money. We've got to take some of that money to inspire him to go out and do more things. He's being unproductive. He's sitting on his fat ass. I continue. Uh, while those of us in the Paul camp might disagree with Newt Gingrich about whether Donald Trump is the right man to host a serious political debate, we do agree New York is a wonderful place to go at Christmas. We are sure two average Americans like Speaker Gingrich and Donald Trump will have a wonderful time picking out gifts for their wives. We suggest a place called Tiffany's. We hear it is quite nice this time of year, and given their celebrity status, they can probably get special deals and $500,000 lines of credit. Well done. Touche.